Welcome to the People Serving People Gala. We want to kick off tonight with having some cocktails you can make at home. So we have two different cocktails we're going to show you tonight how to make. And we're at the block in St. Louis Park. And we want to show you first off how to make a mint julep. So those of you at home that have bourbon and have mint and, and sugar, you're pretty much halfway there to make a mint julep. So I'm going to show you, for starters, we're going to get simple syrup, which is just going to be one-to-one -one mix of sugar and water. So we're going to start off by putting a half ounce, and I've pre-mixed it here, this little simple syrup. And we're going to put a half ounce in. And now we're going to get five leaves of mint, give or take, maybe a little heavy if you want a fun one. We're going to throw her in there. And then at home, if you have a muddler, that's great. If you don't, you can use a fork, you can use something that kind of pushes down the mint just to get the flavors into the glass and extract it from the mint. Do this for a second. And then the most important ingredient, bourbon. You're going to take this. We have Maker's Mark here. If you have something different at home, that's all right. We'll talk a little bit more about our Maker's Mark later tonight too with one of the donations. So we have two ounces of that. And then you're gonna take your crushed ice, which you've done in advance. If you don't have crushed ice, it's not a big deal. Just take your ice that you have in the freezer, put it in a Ziploc bag and hit it with a mallet, or you can hit it with a wine bottle or something just to crack it open. And then you'll get a lot of shaved ice like this. And we're gonna put it in here. And then you wanna take a stir spoon or a spoon at home. And we're just gonna twist it around a little bit to get the bourbon simple syrup, the ice, and the mints all put together. And to finish it all off, you want to add some mint. And that's the first drink tonight. One other variation if you want to make this non-alcoholic is you can take out the bourbon and you can add iced tea and you still get a nice drink that you can enjoy the gale tonight with. But the second drink tonight, we're going to be making a Paloma. And to get started, you want to get a glass. I have a red wine glass, but you can use anything you want at home from a highball to something a little bit lower than this. It's up to you. Take a lime and you're going to go around the rim. And we are not only going to use that for the aroma, but also to actually get the salt around the rim, which is one of the best parts of a Paloma. So we're going to do this. We're going to take lime juice that you can either fresh squeeze at home or you can make it or you can buy from the store. So we're gonna do one ounce of lime juice. We're gonna do one ounce of grapefruit juice. We're gonna do one ounce of orange juice, or if you have blood orange, that's also good. Mix it up a little bit more. And then from there, we are gonna take some thyme. And if you take the thyme and you can actually roll it in your hand like this, you get a little bit more of the flavor out of the thyme. And we're gonna take that. And we're gonna put a little in there. And then what we're gonna do is also, for an alcoholic version, you're gonna have tequila, which we're gonna put in an ounce and a half. And we're using Dill Bell Rusposado, which we highly suggest. And then you're gonna need two ounces of club soda which we're gonna do off the gun, but if you have any soda at home, that will be your friend. And now we're just gonna add some ice. And then we're gonna add a little bit more thyme as the garnish. And for a fun little garnish on top, you can put a nice hunk of grapefruit. There you go.